everyone, my name is Stephanie Lukowski and I'm the Curator of Education for the Museums of Western Colorado. That means I design education programs for Cross Orchards, Museum of the West, and Dinosaur Journey. But today we're not going to talk about dinosaurs, we're going to talk about the Ice Age, my favorite period of time. So, what I have right next to me are two bones from an animal called an American Mastodon. These were both found up in Snowmass during the amazing Ice Age dig that happened there um, in 2010 and 2011. And we're lucky to have them here behind the scenes at the museum. So these are both replicas. Um, one of the neat things about that discovery was none of the bones had turned to stone like you think of the dinosaur bones downstairs in our museum. This was actual bone material. In fact, they found 36,000 bones, tusks, teeth from different Ice Age animals, 52 different species in all, and none of them had turned to stone. We also were finding beetles that still had iridescent wings after tens of thousands of years, and all sorts of plant remains that hadn't turned to stone at all, and that's not uncommon for Ice Age fossils. So in order to preserve them longer, those fossils are housed at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, where they had the proper climate controls, and we here have these amazing replicas. So on one side of me is a fossil that got the name of Ms. Bumpy Head, and I wonder if you can see why looking at the top of her head. So that's right, she has a lump on the top of her head. So that was the kind of informal name that the excavators from the Denver Museum of Nature and Science gave her when they found her up in snow mass. Um, we know this is a female mastodon because of her tusks. They're shorter and they're straight like mastodons have. I also want to show you something cool about their teeth. So a lot of people look at these teeth and, and wonder what mastodons actually ate. You can see the, how they have all sorts of cusps and bumps to them. And that is because these animals lived in the forest. They like to eat the woody parts of plants, um, pine needles, that kind of thing. So having those cusps and those valleys really helped grind up that material. And one other really cool thing I want to show you about the skull is look at her chin here. She has a second set of tusks coming from her chin. So the top tusks and the bottom tusks. And this is exceedingly rare. Usually adults wouldn't keep their chin tusks, um, but Miss Bumpy Head happens to have hers. So a really extraordinary animal from an extraordinary time. Next to me is a femur, so an upper thigh bone um, from another mastodon. This is the largest femur from the largest mastodon ever found. His name is Portaloo, and he got that because when they moved the porta potties, they found him right away. So he got the uh, dubious name of Portaloo. And so both of these were found in that amazing site in Snowmass, not very far from where we live here in Grand Junction. So very far, um, not very far up in the mountains, we got to find mammoths, mastodons, giant sloths, giant bison. Um, a variety of animals you would expect to find around lakes today. So um, tiger salamanders, ducks, geese, different fish. And all of these finds told us what the climate was like during the Ice Age um, high up in the mountains. And so what, what the museum scientists at Denver Museum learned was that at periods of time, when, especially when the mastodons lived, it was warmer and wetter than today up higher. Now how can that be? This is the Ice Age. Well, the Ice Age wasn't always cold. In fact, would you believe it if I told you we were in the Ice Age today? Because we are. So in order to be in an Ice Age, you have to have ice year-round at the poles or in high mountains. And we have that today. Um, but also, during the Ice Age, so those, those periods of time like we're in now, and like when Ms. Bumpy Head and Portaloo lived in Colorado, are called interglacial stages. We also get those glacial stages where those glaciers, those massive ice sheets, advanced and covered most of the continent in um, Eurasia and North America. So we get a little mixture of both, um, oscillating back and forth, and that's natural. And another fun fact about the Ice Age is most people think about the most recent Ice Age that we're currently in as being the Ice Age, but it's actually one of five Ice Ages in Earth's history. So for the vast majority of the Earth's 4.55 billion year history, there hasn't been ice year round at the poles. Um, in fact, they even find dinosaurs living in Antarctica, so that shows us that the weather had to be much, much warmer for that to be the case. So, it's the Ice Age up in the mountains.